This will be day 22 of our Hacker Rank 30 Days Coding Challenge and today we are going to be talking about binary search trees. Now the best way to understand it is to just explain it on my whiteboard right here. So I've set up a tree but before we do this let me just show you what the task is all about. The height of a binary search tree is the number of edges between the tree's node and its furthest limb. You are given a pointer root pointing to the root of the binary tree, complete the get height function provided in your editor so that it returns the height of the binary search tree. And they went further to explain this, but I think it's easier and clearer when I explain it in my whiteboard again. If you are joining me for the first time, please subscribe to my channel by hitting on the subscribe button below. Now, what is the height of this tree? Let's start from an empty tree. So what is the height of this tree? The height of this tree is zero. What is the height of this tree? Let's say this one. The height of this tree is zero plus one, because we now have a, a left child here, so we have zero, the height of this one plus one. Now, what is the height of this tree? No. The height of this tree is also zero. Okay. Now, what is the height of this one? This one goes this way and we have this. So the height of this tree now is the height of this one, of this one. Sorry, let me just get it right so I don't confuse you. So is the height of this one, this tree here, plus the height of this one. So but if we want to look at it in a different way, we can say the height of this whole tree is the height of this subtree here. Let me use red. Is the height of this subtree plus the height of this subtree, the maximum of the height of the subtree, because this is a subtree, it can have any number of nodes here. So the height of these two, the maximum of the two. So in that case, we are using recursion because we don't know the number of nodes. So we are taking the height of this and the height of this and taking the maximum of the two. So let's see how this plays out in code. I'm not, I'm not going to write the pseudocode on my whiteboard. I'm going to be writing the code and explaining it to you. All right, so the first thing we want to do at this point is to say is to define the the exit uh, criteria so if the root is null then exit by returning zero return zero else now let's pay attention to this just return zero is not else okay now we have to check if it has a right subtree. So now if I go back to my whiteboard here, if it has a right subtree, if it has a right sub, uh, a left subtree, which is this, then it means we are going to add one plus whatever is here because we now already have one. So we have add one plus the height of whatever is here. So let's go back to the screen and let's see how it plays out here. So if, root dot next is not equal to null it's not equal to none i'm actually meeting of java and python so it means that it has a i mean root dot left so it means that it has a left subtree at this point so we are going to simply return return uh, return left height, sorry, return one plus, excuse me one second. So if the left is not none, then the left height will now be, now we are not, re we've not return anything. The left height will now be one plus the height of I'm going to say self.get height 
it will now be 1 plus the height of the left subtree. So I'm going to say root dot left. So this is basically it. This is basically what we are going to use. If the right is not null, if the, if the root dot right is not null, meaning that it has a right subtree, it's not none, it has a right subtree, and then the right height, the total right height, will now be 1 plus self dot dot get height and root dot right so what happens when we have self dot get height root dot height what if what happens when this is the right subtree uh, is only one node right of course we have zero here so it's going to be one plus zero and it's going to be one now if for any reason the tree has a right uh, node or a right subtree but no right uh, no uh, has a left but no right then it means that this will never be assigned so let me just explain what i'm saying at this point we are going to return the maximum max of left height and right height GHT, GHT, I think that should be the right spelling, GHT. Uh, and so it's going to be right, GHT is going to come here, GHT. All right. So what happens when it has a right sub, a left subtree, but no right subtree? It means that in this case, root.right will be none. So this will never be assigned. and this will throw an error. So let's initialize these two variables to zero. Left height equal to zero and right height equal to zero. So what it means that even if the, the, this is never assigned, it's going to use the initial value of zero here. All right. Okay. So let's run this code and let's see if it works. Um, hope I'm not missing out anything. Um, I think it should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to click on the run button and let's see. Okay, the sample test case passed successfully. I'm going to submit this code and let's see if everything worked. Okay, everything worked. We have test case one, zero, zero, 01 and 2 passed successfully. So if you've come this far, we've successfully completed day 22. I'd like to give you a very big thumbs up for coming this far. And I also want to, to remind you to keep learning. Uh, it gets easier the more you practice. And I would also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. And also feel free to leave me a comment to kind of motivate me to keep doing these lessons. If you have challenges, also feel free to let me know in the comment box below. We are going to see in the next day, which is day 23. Meanwhile, I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.